go live because I was not recording. Hey, everybody. Uh, Je Jeff Graham here. Jefferson Graham, you are watching Photo Walks TV, the iPhone photo show right here on YouTube. And uh, thanks, everyone, for tuning in. We are live from Midwest Photo in Columbus, Ohio. The good folks at Midwest have opened up their doors and given us their facilities to be live here, which is fantastic. We're going to talk a lot about gear today. We are surrounded, surrounded by fun stuff, uh, fun mobile accessories. Uh, well, they're over there. You'll see in a minute. Nikki Maduro is going to be here as well. And she has a YouTube show where she used to be a radio host. And then all of a sudden she transitioned to uh, going do, bring her show to YouTube and she's going to talk about the equipment in the gear that she needed to uh, to do it thanks everyone for watching today's episode is brought to you by our good friends at smug mug I use smug mug to run my website to back up all my photos and uh, and to show off my photo galleries to the world and it's a great service they have a free two-week trial available at smugmug.com so check it out we have Mr. Mugman is saying hi. Hey, Rich, how you doing? Thanks for tuning in. Uh, you're gonna see a lot of fun gear in a minute. And Liz is also saying hello. So hi, Liz. As I said, uh, Nikki is gonna be here in a second, but let's begin with some news. What's, what's happening this week? I'm really intrigued by this story. Apple finally opened up their first two Apple stores in India. They have stores all over the world, but they never had them in India because if I, if I, if the story I read is correct, it would take the average worker 700 weeks to be able to afford an iPhone. So people make a lot less money there. However, Apple decided now is the time. And if it's a luxury item and let's just go for it. So they opened up some big, beautiful stores, do a search online, go to nine to five Mac, They've got some great pictures of the Apple Store. Other news in iPhone land, there was a great article in the Wall Street Journal. Here comes Nikki. There was a great article in the, New York, in the Wall Street Journal about people who steal iPhones and things you can do. And I'm going to bring Nikki on, and we're going to talk about that in a second. So here comes Nikki. We're going to go right there. And we're going to say, boom. And we're going to add her to the right. There she is. Hey, Nikki. Hi, Hi. how are you? I'm good. Thanks for being here. Of course. Thank you. Thanks for having me. This is, this is a totally different atmosphere between us. That's right. Nikki Maduro from the San Francisco Bay Area used to do, be, do the morning show at KGO until one day they came in and said, bye. <laughs> did they actually say bye or did you just get an email? Okay, we're going to ask Nikki to turn up her volume because you're kind of oh. low. Do you know how to do that? Uh, I mean, it's as high as I can go, but let me see if I can get on the uh, Let me know if this gets better. Does it maybe get better? Well, it gets better when you talk uh, right into the microphone. Talk All right, right. Let me just get closer to the microphone. How about that? Okay, that should be a lot that better. better. Let's see okay. if, if everybody agrees. Everybody agree. Can you hear me? Testing one, two, three. I feel like I'm doing old school radio once again. So. Uh, okay. They still can't hear you. They can't hear me. Huh? Okay. Let me see. Is that better? Hello. 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 I'm hoping that it is. I'm going to talk even closer. Which is this is a great example of some of the hiccups that you have when you do okay. live broadcast. So right here. Right here, right kiss here. kiss the microphone. Liz Liz <laughs> says it's better now. Okay, good. good okay, good, 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 good. okay. And I'm assuming so. We're all good. Let's just. <laughs> okay. Um, well, let's talk a little bit. Okay. So right. Nikki, when why am I standing up here? Okay. So when you when you decided to make the transition, 
what did you go out and buy to do it right here? Okay, so the camera that I'm using, this camera right here, it's a Logitech Brio, B-R-I-O. Um, and the reason I chose it, in all honesty, was it was recommended to me by somebody that does uh, online shows. And it's really simple. I would pull it off, except you wouldn't be able to see anything if I did. But it clips right onto my laptop. And I am broadcasting on a MacBook, which I already owned. Uh, it's a MacBook Pro. Uh, I come from radio, so I already had the microphone. I didn't have to get it. So a lot of this stuff was really, um, it was convenient because I'm already a broadcaster. Uh, and then I got the M Audio M Track Solo. And it's kind of the mixer box that I'm messing with right now because you guys can't hear me. Um, so I, I received that that I plug. Um, my microphone into my headphones are also plugged into and that's it that's all I have um, the other things that uh, I use for the show of course are software but as far as hardware mic mic stand a little the M audio M track solo and the camera and I'm good to go okay now I I have your your levels up all the way and I okay. think people are saying that it's better now and I, and I and I hope that's true Okay, so you bought a mic, and I, I lost that. Which kind of mic did you buy? So this one, this mic I already had. Is it XLR or USB? No, it's a US, It's a XLR. Pardon me. And this is a Shure mic, S H U R fifty eight mic. Um, and but I already had this microphone because I used to podcast from home and. As a radio person, you always have a, a right. So you have an XLR and a mixer. We're going to be showing off some mixers and mics uh, afterwards as well. Um, l I'm going to shift right now to a story I was talking about when you came on, which is about people who steal iPhones and steal people's oh. passcodes. And there was a great article in the Wall Street Journal, another one about what to do if your passcode is stolen. Okay, and there's two things to do. One of them is to change it from a numerical to numerical plus alphabet, okay? Okay. And that's one thing you can do. And the second thing is to add parental controls even if you're not gonna use them because then they'll give you a second password. I like that idea. Um, you know, with me I use my face instead of, a, in, instead of using a passcode and then my thumb. Do they mention anything about whether that's a, a, a good idea? Uh, I think the face is probably the best for my, for me. Um, I can only uh, use it occasionally. Mm. You can only use your face occasionally. Yep, it only works occasionally. Why? I don't know. You have to ask Apple. <laughs> seems seems to be something up. Yeah, I just use my face. But my I have my uh, my pass code. I like the idea. Is the parental control similar to like uh, two-factor authentication or something like that? Yeah, yeah. It's just an yeah. another way That's of doing it. Okay, okay. And which iPhone do you have? So I have the iPhone 13, and it's it's kind of old, but uh, I like it. It's not yeah. Bad. I've never gotten a Pro. I've never been able to well, you definitely should because it's the better camera. Yeah, I know, I know. And and now that now that I follow your show. Photo Walk TV. Yeah, I need to get one so I can do all the tips and tricks that you use. <laughs> all right. Uh, so many people are, are saying that the sound is low. That I think we should just make it a short uh, chat oh, today. Mom, yeah. uh, but we'll do it at another time when when we can uh, get it together and I'll be at home. Perfect. Tell everybody about your show. All right. So it's the Nikki Maduro show. You can find it on YouTube. It's uh, normally noon to two Kim McAllister joins us we talk about everything from news to pop culture uh, and everything in between so it's a good time it starts noon Pacific or anytime because it's YouTube so. the Nikki Medoro show M-E-D-O-R-O -O. that's correct thank, thank you, so much, you thank you Nikki we'll see you all later right, bye bye all right now all right, I'm going to show you a little uh, snippet of what it's like to visit the Midwest Photo Exchange here. I'm sorry, Midwest Photo. Uh, and this is a p beautiful picture of the outside. And this is Columbus, Ohio, where I've been this week. And we're going to bring on JC in a second to tell us all about gear. So let's run my, my little promo reel. JC. Do you mind if I put this paper? 
Oh, it's fine. Wide shot, wide shot. There we are. Okay, everybody. Hey, you can see us, you can hear us, correct? Right? All good? I have to fix one thing here. Go down here to... There we go. All right. Oh, no. There we go. All right. Hey, everybody. We are back. This is JC. Tell everybody your last name. Shuffle. Okay, come a little closer. Yes. Um, so, first of all, let let us know. You can hear, you can see. Okay, so everything's good. So, Sweet. we're here at Midwest Photo in Columbus. Thanks for having us. Yeah. All righty, and you have so much fun stuff. I'm going to start with the big one. Okay, yes. because... Nikki was talking about uh, the stuff that she did to start podcasting. And the first thing that people usually buy is a mixer, even though they, they really don't have to. Yes. And I want them to know this. This is a big expense. This is $700. This is the Rodecaster. It's a wonderful tool. It lets you plug in professional XLR microphones uh, right over here. And then you could uh, put in a, a micro USB card and you could record your podcast while you are um, doing your thing. And then let's show them these white buttons. Sound effects, add music and things like that, uh, which is great. And um, it's 700 bucks, yeah. which is, and the most important thing is if you're doing a podcast, I'm looking down here, I should be looking up here. <laughs> if you're doing a podcast where you're in a studio and you're recording other people, you need that. If you're doing solo, like we're doing right now, a USB mic and a camera. That's all you pretty much need. And uh, this mic, you can tell us about this. This is a Godox mic. Yes, that is the EM68G. Um, this is a really, really cool mic. Um, some of the cool things about it is that you can control the gain specifically from the top just by turning it here. It also has one touch mute as well if you need to mute yourself for any reason. Um, it can also be controlled through the Godox light app. Um, you can kind of change your light up here to whatever color you want, put on some special like RGB like cycle throughs. It's a pretty cool thing. And it costs? Um, that one cost, that's the one thing I didn't have written down. Ooh, does anybody <gasps> in the peanut gallery, I'm can they slacking. look up the EM68 microphone for us? Um, what I like about this is it's great sound. Hopefully you guys will let us know how good the sound is, but it's not an XLR mic and you do not need a professional mixer to plug it in. You can just go straight into the laptop. That's how I have it right. $79. This go. is a $79 microphone, and that's fantastic. Yeah, pretty good price yeah. point. And uh, we're talking on it. How's the sound, everybody? Let me hear from you. What do you think? What do you th how do you think $79 sounds? Let us know. Um, okay, so that's that. And now we're going to go into, we're going to go from podcasting to camera land. Oh, though yeah. I really like this. I really like it too. Yes. Um, and I'm hoping people will tell us. So uh, let's start with, you have put a bunch of lights in your hand. Oh, Why don't you start yeah. there? And remember folks, we're gonna be taking questions. So uh, uh, I think just a few. Yeah, she, we have two up there okay, too she's, as well. Yeah, so she's got a bunch of lights here, which yes. is wonderful. And there, because you know you actually do need lights when you, when you shoot productions on your phone. I should remind everybody, I'm shooting this on the iPhone. I use that as the webcam. This is the iPhone 14. You can also use the iPhone 12. And uh, just Mario says that we sound good. Awesome. Okay. So when, when she said, hey, I've got all these great lights, I say, wonderful. How are we going to plug them into the phone? Right? Mm -hmm. That's the biggest problem we have. Like, where? Where is it going? Right? I would show it to you on top of my phone, but it's over here. All right. So. A cage. 
You need yes. a cage. You need something with a cold shoe to do it. So yep. what do you got? Um, so for cage wise, right here we have the Godox. This is the VK1. It comes as a kit. Um, so you get the LED 6R, a microphone, and the cage itself. It's super easy. There's just a knob here on the back. You lefty loosey, righty tidy, lift it up. You can fit pretty much any sized phone in it. Um, pretty cool. You can stabilize it, flip it vertical, horizontal. Um, you can also remove the tripod on the bottom as well if you don't need a tripod. Okay, and this is a kit and yes. it sells for? Yes, this one sells for $129. Um, it also has three different cold shoes and it has multiple um, quarter screw mounts points. So pretty much put anything on there. Okay. Um, we also do have the small rig universal phone cage as well. I believe this one runs at $19.77. Kind of same dealio, any phone can fit into it. You have a knob on top and you can move it up and down to fit your phone. Okay, and this one is how much? Um, this one is $19.77, pretty sure. $19.77, okay, mm -hmm. almost $120. Yeah, for that whole kit. Right, okay, that that one's $120. Yeah, that one's $120, okay. this one is $19.22, $19.77, yeah. Twenty dollars. Yeah, twenty dollars. Oh, just I'm for the sorry. Cage. I'm sorry. I was I was I was lost. Okay, oh, no, so this is a, this is a twenty dollar cage. Yes. And it could it, it can't fit in your pocket, but mm -hmm. it can solve a problem that I have with my cage. Which let's show them. Let's do it. Uh, I really like my cage. This is you've seen me uh, holding this before. This uh, has two cold shoes. One here, and one here, and then I can plug it right into a mic to a tripod. And which uh, most times when you have these things, you have to get an accessory, uh, which I've got around here somewhere. Uh, we have the um, BBC O1 down yeah. there. Okay, but um, but the snag is that my phone is stuck in it, yes. and I can't pull it out. And part of the image is is being knocked out there. And this one is eighty dollars. So here we're talking uh, twenty bucks. So I like that, but it won't fit in my pocket. So uh, let's pull this thing that's right over here. Tell them about this. Yeah, this is the BPC-01 from Godox. Um, this is a stabilizer, um, a tripod, and a charging, uh, wow, charging bank, basically. All in a one. power bank. Yeah, power bank. There it is. Um, it has a quarter screw on the top, so you can basically mount anything that you want on it. Um, and it also has USB and USB-C ports, so you can charge two things at once. It's pretty cool. Okay, and this costs how much? Uh, this one costs, let's see on my little sheet. This one costs $44.90. $44.90, okay. Yep. So you will need the smartphone tripod adapter to mm -hmm. go right up here. And uh, I guess you'll just, you will, I'm sorry, you will <laughs> plug into the USB on the side which is uh, to, to charge up, uh, or the lightning, right? The lightning, I guess? Yeah, USB to lightning, yeah. Okay, well that's that's novel. Yeah. Now everybody knows that's that's watched the show is I prefer stuff like this mm -hmm. uh, because gimbals, which I don't know if you sell this one. It's brand new. It's from the folks at Insta360. I have a hard time balancing a phone on it, <laughs> and I prefer just a stick and doing stuff like this. Plus, this is shaking. So, but hey, good news, folks. The the guys from uh, Michael from Insta360 is going to be on the show next week, and hopefully he'll show us how to balance the phone. So that's our charger, and you've got all these lights. Why don't you tell people about the lights? Yeah. Um, so the first one I have is the LED M150. This one is super cool. It has a clamp on the back to it, so you can just clamp your phone in. Um, pretty easy. Usually used for if you're doing some kind of video stuff. Turn it on here. You can control how bright it is, how dim it is, just with this little wheel in the corner. Pretty simple, easy to use. Um, this one goes for fifty dollars. Okay. So pretty affordable. And we'll, you'll obviously need a cold shoe yes. to stick that in mm -hmm. somewhere. And that also screws off too. So there is another quarter twenty screw mount at the bottom of that as well. So you can pretty much put that on anything. You can even put that on the BPC O one. Well, let's show them how to do it. All right. Uh, just like this. And there you go. Boom. And now you could hold this up and I could light JC. There we go. <laughs> right? And you're going to get a better shot mm -hmm. than if it's right on top of your phone. Yep. There you go. <laughs> All right. What else do we got? 
Yeah. Um, so I have the C5R. The um, C5R, yeah, of course. Yeah, this one's a little cooler than that one because it's RGB. Um, this one also gets very, very bright, so I will not point it directly at the camera. Um, but you have different modes in it. Obviously, you have your normal like white balance. Um, you can also do your specific hues. So if you want a specific color, you can change that as well. Um, then you also have your special effects here. Um, pretty much anything you can think of. You have your TV, you have your fireworks, you have your little SOS call if you need that. Just overall really cool light. Um, it also has magnets on it too as well. So if you need to mount it onto anything um, that's magnetic, you can. And this is 50 to yes. $70? Yes. This what? one is 89 89 Yep. Okay. And it can also be controlled through the Godox Light app as well. So that's super cool. If you need to leave it somewhere, go away, you can still control it. Well, that's fun. Yeah. Um, let's talk about the store for a minute, Midwest of Photo. Of course. Okay. So everybody knows Amazon, mm -hmm. and we know where that's going. And, you know, it's wonderful to support yeah. us, uh, independent stores. Mm -hmm. You've got this great big store here. Anything I want in Amazon, I assume I can pretty much get here. Oh, yeah. Anything and everything. Okay. T talk to me about the advantage of shopping here. Oh, yeah. The advantage of it is that you're going to get really, really good customer service. Um, all of our sales associates are photographers and videographers as well. Um, so you're going to come in and be able to make a connection with a person that can help you with pretty much anything. And it's a good way to kind of network and get ideas and inspiration. And it's really nice just to shop local and get to know your local photographers. What about online for people who don't live in Columbus? Oh, yes. You can order online, too. We have a, a really good sales rep um, on our website. Name's Ethan. He'll help you out with anything, and he's also really nice. So you could just call and say, this is what I want to do in my studio. Help me set it up. Yep, pretty much. Yeah. We have everything you would need, all the resources. So, yeah. Okay. Folks, do we have questions? Because I'd love to hear from you. Uh, Ruth just said, good show. So I'm oh, glad to hear thank that. Thank you. Thank you, Ruth. Uh, any, please submit some questions th for uh, JC or for me. Or yeah. any, It doesn't have to be about the gear that we've been showing. We keep looking down here even though the yeah. camera's up there. <laughs> so we, ha we have to do that. Um, so one question that came in is, whatever happened to the LumaPro Flash, mm -hmm. which many of us bought at one point because it was a really inexpensive, really yeah. well-made manual flash. Mm -hmm. we, don't, we don't sell them anymore. We do not. And why is that? Nope. Um, there is a brand, Godox, which most of the lights I have shown you is Godox. Um, they're just really popular, really good at what they do. They make really sturdy, really bright, really good flashes, studio lights, pretty much anything you can think of lighting-wise. And they just kind of swept away the competition. <laughs> okay. So you sell the equivalent, I think, at this point. F uh, same thing. You could buy a, a manual flash for about $100, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, do, do we know what those are called? The manual flashes? Yeah. The non-TTLs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, the TT600s. <laughs> yeah. And how, and how much does it cost? Those are just under 100 I think. Uh, $69. $69. It's amazing. And I, yeah. I, I don't know that I have that model, but I have one of them. And as I was, I was telling Musha, they, they don't run out of battery. Yeah, they just go on that. and on and on yeah. and on. And I take them to photo gigs all the time. And I usually like charge them up like every two months. Yeah, they're really good. I really like them. I don't understand what MA said, but it's live chat on our site is also our... our oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Boisha. <laughs> all right. Any other questions? Please, uh, let, let's uh, chime in, folks. Who wants to buy stuff? Who's got questions about lighting? Let, uh, while we wait, tell us about um, what's a day in life like for you here. Oh, yeah. On the sales floor, you just come in, you unpack all of your equipment. Oh, yeah. Microphone. Um, we come in, pack up on the equipment, um, and then from there, it's just kind of helping out customers. We also get to get our hands on gear that we might otherwise not have gotten our hands on. Um, so we really get to explore and kind of try out different stuff, um, but also kind of create connections and help out customers with whatever they kind of need. So it's pretty nice. What are, do you do a lot of mobile accessories here? Um, we do some. I would say most of our customer base is either film cameras or interchangeable lens digital cameras. So. Okay, yeah. which is good to hear. They're still selling cameras in the Midwest. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> which camera do you use? Um, I use the Canon R6, okay. which I love. Okay, I use the Sony A7 IV. Oh nice, which is that's really a good, good one. Though I will say we did a test, a back-to-back -back test, a video okay. on the R6 mm -hmm. and the iPhone, and the iPhone looked a little better. Really? Mm -hmm. Might have to upgrade my uh, iPhone. But the, the sti I don't think the stills are as great. Yeah, the R6 but stills are fantastic. Yeah. 
Yeah. Really good low light too as well. Okay. Uh, and you have an iPhone 11. I do. Yes. Okay. Which is pretty good for photos. It's not an R6 or an iPhone 14, but it gets the job done, you know. <laughs> okay. What are some of the things you like to photograph in Columbus? Oh, yeah. Um, I'm really big into like skylines and also like nature. So most of my stuff is going to be like sunsets, um, some pretty trees I see, some awesome buildings, though, so more of that kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. What's, what's your, what, are your, what are your favorite uh, skylines here? Ooh. The downtown? Oh, yeah. For sure. Um, definitely as you're coming down off of 71 South, you can just see a perfect view of it and I absolutely love it. Yeah, I photographed from Rich Street Bridge the other night. Okay, yeah. And that was great. Yeah. It's super now here's a question from Roy. What about small, small bags that will hold the lights? Small, small bags? Well, he wants a small bag for his, for his gear. That would uh, be a nice backpack of some kind, right? Oh, yeah. Um, See, I know Think Tank has a lot of nice small bags. Um, so does ProMaster as well. ProMaster um, has a lot of different satchels. They have a lot of little tiny ones you can just carry without kind of a sling. And they also have those backpacks too. Okay, I'm gonna show off my backpack. <laughs> uh, good stuff everywhere. Okay, so who makes this thing? Uh, Tegna, I think? Can we tell? Uh, I got a backpack that I really love and it has no name on it, right? Please. Yeah, I don't see a name on it. Okay, but I really like it, and uh, except that the zipper's broken. Oh, dang. Yeah, but I'll deal with it. Okay, and there's Roy's question, and thank you, Roy. Um, and, oh, let's see. I think Moisha answered Mario. There we uh, go. Let's see that. The lights are fully adjustable, so you can turn them down when you're close up. Yes. Yep. Should we, sh let's show them. Yeah, of show course. Them. Yeah. So let's do with this guy. Stolen special uh, effects. We forgot that. Okay. All right. Uh, Roy wants us to, sh to show him all the bags. He doesn't understand that we brought everything out before we went live, and we can't do that. Yeah. But we can show how to adjust the lights. So yeah. I'll be your model. <laughs> awesome. Um, so on most of these lights, you'll have a wheel on the side of them um, that will control the brightness of it. So right now we're at 100 right now. And we'll go down. <laughs> there we go. It takes a while. Can you see? Can you tell? And now we're or should at zero. it be sitting right in front of it? Um, is this the one that does the colors? Yes. Okay, so do the colors. Here we go. This one, and we will go up. I'm now green, right? But <laughs> yep, oh, very you, much but so. barely. I mean, there we yeah, go. there we go. <laughs> oh, that hurts. Oh, and then we'll go back down. Uh, and then Save do your red, eyes. And then do red or something. Ah, wrong button. There we go. Really okay, yellow. Yellow is fine. Shove it in my <laughs> face so they can see that I'm ah, yellow. Gotcha. Yellow. How's that, folks? <laughs> and that's a $50 light, right? Um, this one is the 89 89 Okay, yeah. $90. Okay, that's still pretty, pretty cool. Um, oh, he wants something smaller than my backpack. Oh, yeah. ProMaster has a lot of satchels that are way smaller than that. Um, they have some that are about half the size of it, and it can fit your body and your lens. And your charger. And, and that would be all. your camera body and your lens. Yes. Right. <laughs> yeah, not yourself. You can't so get do you, it. So do you think it's on the sales floor? Um, I think it is on the sales floor. Well, do you, you want to yeah. go run and get yeah, it for I Roy? Yeah, I Of Okay, course. I'll continue talking. Okay, Roy. JC is going to the sales floor right now. Oh, and Moisha said he's going to grab a few things from the floor. Okay, so we're, we're going to do that. So again, Columbus, Ohio. Uh, JC went out, Midwest Photo, we're live here at the store. This is one of the great camera stores in the country, right in the center of town. It's really big, and it, I, get, I must admit, I was really surprised at just how large it would be right here in Columbus, which is the 15th largest city in the United States. Uh, and Roy says, how bright at different times of the day. We'll get back to the light in a minute, Roy, because I think JC is about to head back from uh, from the sales floor with a bag to show you. Uh, Ruth R. wants to know the purpose of a green light. Why would you use a green light and a red light and a purple light just to be cool and moody? And because it does, a lot of people like to light the back. Hi, Moisha. Hey. How you doing? All right. You want to let everybody see you for a second? Sure. Okay. This is Moisha Applebaum. Hi, everyone. He is the president 
of Midwest Photo and has built this place up incredibly. <laughs> and is a really nice guy who let us come in and use this facility. Well, we're so happy to for, have you. Well, thank you. <laughs> we love working with you, Okay, Jeff. great. So you want to show off some bags? Yeah, I just ran out to the floor and I was like, okay, yeah, Roy wants to look at some bags. Let's look at some bags. So I've got a couple ProMaster bags. I've got the ProMaster Impulse Compact Bag. I thought that might suit the purpose a little bit. And a light's going to fit in there. Yeah, for one of these little lights, just to give you a sense of the, the size. Yeah. So, for if you were just looking for a little, you know, something for that, something for your phone. Same with the Blue Ridge. Um, that's the ProMaster Blue Ridge 1.8. Um, and that also comes with a shoulder strap as well. Same thing, now that's gonna be just a little bit larger, so um, just to give you a sense of scale, where you might be able to get that and a few other accessories. Um, this is one of my favorites, to be honest. I use this all the time for so much stuff. Now, it doesn't have any padding, um, but it is really good, and it, it's really designed to be used with cables, just as a cable organization system, but I use this for my tools. I, put, I throw these in my tool bags. I, I use these for little lights. If I'm going out on a shoot, I'll throw my batteries in here, um, but it's just got two pockets here. This is made by Temba. It's called a camera. It's, I'm sorry, it's called a Cable Duo 4, and then they make one that's a little bit larger, too. I just think that, that it's stellar for just this as is a, a multi-purpose. A $20, $30 product? Yeah, this is a $24 little bag. Okay. We have that right on our website. Okay. And where, what happened to the charging? Uh, the, the, oh, there we go. Okay. And then the last one I brought out for you was the uh, uh, Peak Design Tech Pouch. Similar that it's not going to have a ton of padding, but Peak Design you know, really puts a lot of work, just like ProMaster and, and Temba really, put a lot of work into... Oops, let's just show it to the camera. Yeah. Into how they design their bags, and I think that that might be also an excellent choice. A little bit more, a little bit more expensive, um, $60. Great brand. It's what I use for my gym bag when I go to the gym. Um, and uh, their camera bags are fabulous. They're really amazing. So... With that, I'm going to step out. I'm okay. going to let J yeah, yeah, JC yeah, yeah. step uh -huh. back in. Yeah. But, I was trying uh, to put this thank you. on my cage just to show Roy. What did I do? Oh, you want I... me to leave these in here for you? Uh, sure. Okay. See, Roy, I, I just use the cage, and I put the light. I would put the light on top of the cage, and then I don't have to, have to um, worry about that. Uh, Moisha, there's just one more question for you. Yeah. Come on back while you're still here. Sure. Okay. Um, it's really important that we support our local camera store. Okay, because one, the, many of them are closing, not here, but many of them are closing. We want them to stay open. We need people like you. We need to be able to walk in and talk to people. We don't just want to click buttons. So I would like to like you to talk about that for two minutes before you <laughs> run away. Sure, sure. Okay. So yeah, so we, we, we've been uh, in business here in Columbus, Ohio for about 24 years. We're very active. Um, all over the country so wherever you are feel free to call I was trying to get a get it across in the chat but if you chat with us on our website our live chat that's our employees that's our photographer employees there that you would be chatting with and be able to you know help to qualify you to help figure out what you need and and how you need the solutions that you need to do whatever it is that you're trying to do but we we certainly appreciate um, you know you guys as customers the and really, to me, the reason why you would come to us is, is for the service. You know, there's not anything different about this actual product from Peak Design, from the actual product, buying it from me or buying it from Amazon. There's nothing different. The only thing that's different is this young lady right over here <laughs> um, who can help you through the process, who can help you figure out exactly what you need and say, oh, well, did you think about doing it this way? Did you think about doing it this way? Did you think about this bag? You know, this is sort of my favorite. This is something that I have put through the ringer myself. This is something that we're very fond of here. Those kind of things, I think, are right. really or uh, the if, value. If you clicked on a button and you bought this cage, and or not this cage but let, let's say you bought one of these lights 
And you say, well, I'm going to put it on my phone. But you guys might say, well, you know, you might want to buy the adapter to stick it on That's top right. of the phone. That's right. Yeah, and so that you're not stuck at, at, you know, when you click a button. Out on, on a, a, trying to go out on a shoot and you didn't order everything that you needed. You know, you didn't think through everything. We've, we've thought through it. <laughs> you know, we've really thought through the process and, and, uh, and, and what it takes to get out there and do it. Yeah. All right. Well, so. I know you're in a, you you want to go. So thank you for talking to everybody. <laughs> All right. Thank you for opening up well, your doors. Well, thank you for coming out and, and gonna, seeing us. And JC brought some it. stuff with her, right? Okay. Yeah. What else you got, JC? Yeah. So there's Promaster bag I was talking about. Um, these are the impulse shoulder bags. Um, they come in different sizes. Moisha did bring in one of them in black, um, but I grabbed the other two sizes um, and gray. These are super, super cool. Um, let's see, the medium one's retailing at $45 and the larger one is retailing for $55. Um, so you can either carry them by the handles or they have shoulder straps as well. Pretty nice. Show you the inside. Shoulder strap. Um, and then you have your compartments, of course, Velcro, so you can move them around to accommodate whatever you have. Okay, and I'll just be devil's advocate. I'm yeah. not. I'm not a bag fan. Okay. I'm not a small bag fan. Sorry, Roy. <laughs> uh, I pre prefer my backpack, and um, I got everything on here. I I got everything on here. So I've got my phone, and usually my mic's up here, and my lights or my mic's over here, and my lights over there. Roy wants to know which which uh, cage I have. It's called Small Rig, and I don't know the model number. Moisha may know the model number. Um, I have it in, usually in every video I do, I have a link to it, and uh, it costs about $80. And I think Moisha has an answer for somebody here, which is operating time on the Godex, on the Godex Flash is two hours on one battery charge. So I must have the next up, the next edition which uh, I certainly do a lot more than two hours on a battery charge. Oh, that's for this guy. Oh, for that guy? Yeah, this is for oh. this guy. Okay. Yeah. So that's pretty good. All right. Uh, let's see. Any other questions, folks, that we can answer for you? Whoops. Click the wrong button. And uh, did, did, did. okay. So it, unless anybody else has any questions, mm -hmm. um, why, well, let's see. Why don't you, you're born and bred in Columbus? Um, I'm actually from Bull Fountain, Ohio. So still uh -huh. Ohio born and raised. Okay. And yeah. How long have you been a photographer? Um, I've been a photographer about, let's see, it's 2023 now. I probably started around 2017. So around like five, six years now. Yeah, just about. Yeah, and also you know, people should know that if they're in the Columbus area, you guys also do education. We Tell do. Tell everybody about the classes. Yeah, so we have a learning studio. Um, we have some really, really good teachers that come in. We cover everything from like your camera basic, uh, basics um, to drones to videography to even like film and your own darkroom developing. Um, they're pretty good. They're usually not huge class sizes, so you get a lot of like one-on-one -on -one attention from your instructor. Um, and you can also like go in order. So if you take photo one-on-one -on -one and you want to kind of go to the next level, you can do photo 102. Um, and they're usually pretty accessible too. They're usually um, after five o'clock most of the time, I believe. Um, so if you do have to work until later into the day, you can still come to them. And we have them on Saturdays as well, which is pretty convenient. Okay. Yeah. If you want to buy anything that we've shown today, that JC has shown, uh, you can pick them up at mpx.com. You can check the description. I put all the links in the description. And um, again, if, if, if you want to buy some of the stuff that I showed that I brought with me, like my cage, I usually have that in every description of every video that I do. I want to thank everyone. Thank you, Moisha, for having us. Thank you, JC, for yeah. showing us stuff. Um, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> subscribe to the newsletter. Uh, keep in touch. And thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you next time.